Round up with an over the second for one over the double play around the horn. And it goes Espinosa Alfonso to Mayorga. They go in the bottom of the eighth, the Cubs leaving three to nothing. This portion of Cubs baseball on WGN is brought to you by Aflac, insuring over 38 million people worldwide. I can't get my kids to eat right. All they want is junk food. Yeah. Do they like chocolate milk? Sure. One way to give them extra nutrition is with rich chocolate Ovaltine. It's got vitamins Nestle Quick and Hershey's don't. Yeah, it may be good for them, but will they like it? <laughs> my kids love it. They absolutely love it. So my kids will like Ovaltine and it's good for them? Wow. When my kids want chocolate milk, it's rich chocolate Ovaltine. Rich chocolate Ovaltine in the new blue package. Tastes great. Great for you. From corporate outings to parties with friends, there's nothing like a group outing to Wrigley Field. Choose from preferred seating, pregame party facilities, Cubs dollars, and much more. For more information, call 312-404-CUBS. You've got your Cubs tickets for the season, but did you know you can purchase parking as well? Prepaid parking for Cubs games is available for every game this season. To purchase preferred parking, call 312-831-CUBS. Hurry in for summer project savings at Menards. Decorate around trees, flower beds, and more with Anchor Wall Border Stone. Choose from two colors on sale for just 96 cents each. Get maximum protection with fiberglass shingles from IKO. These shake style shingles are more durable than standard fiberglass and have a 25 year warranty. Just $9.99 a bundle. Menards is your top choice for building material. Save big money at Menards. Harry Carey back at Chase Stadium. Amari Talamanco working on a one-hit shutout, which would be his first major league shutout. And the bullpen up and going, Larry Cassian and Kent Bottenfield. Montreal taking a 7 to 4 lead into the bottom of the eighth inning, so three outs to go, and Montreal will have defeated Houston for the second night in a row. Here's Alfonso, who has the only hit given up by Telemaco. He's single in the second. There's a strike call. Boy, he has had absolute perfect rhythm out there on the mound. Well, he's retired 11 in a row, and after falling behind early, the last four innings, he's gotten ahead of just about everyone. Swung and he missed. And he's ahead of Alfonso. Eduardo Alfonso. One out of two, he has the only hit. There have been only three base runners for the Mets. There's a pitch a little bit outside. He walked. Ochoa in the second before Alfonso followed with a single. There's another base hit for Alfonso. Oh, Telemaco now has given up two hits, both to one man, Edgardo Edgardo Alfonso. Jim Rickman looking over his lineup card to see who Dallas Green has available to him. Andy Tomerlin for the moment in the on deck circle. Of course, that will depend. And that's what's going to happen. Andy Tomerlin, who hit a pinch home run last night, with an opportunity here. Tomerlin, who Steve mentioned, hit a homer. That was the only run the Mets had last night. Tomlin, a left hand hitter. Nobody out. A runner on at first base, Alfonso. Frank Howard talking to Alfonso. Grace is not holding him on. Playing behind him. There's a fastball, a little bit low and inside.
Carl Everett in the on deck circle. Pitches low, ball two. Two balls, no strike. Everett a switch hitter, so odds are he's going to hit regardless of what Jim Riggleman does. Texas leading Detroit two to one in the fifth. There's a high fly ball. Don't worry about it. Brian McRae is waiting for it. He has it. Cumberland flies to McRae. He takes a pretty good cut up there. That Cumberland. And I think Jim Riggleman's going to go with. Mari Telemaco until the tying run comes to the plate. And that's still one hitter away. So Carl Everett comes on as a pinch hitter. But a better hitter from the right side this year, but he's hitting left handed. Everett is batting for my Licky. A switch hitter. Everett hitting 252 for the year. Eight out of 29 as the pinch hitter. One out, one on. Cubs lead three nothing. There's a high fly ball. Sammy's back. He's waiting for it. He makes the catch. And Everett hit the ball pretty well, but not well enough. So far as the Mets are concerned, perfectly hit for the cut. Right to Sammy Sosa. Two out. And now here comes Jim Riggleman. He wants to change pitchers. A two hit shutout for Telemaco. He's going to leave with two out, a runner on, a left hand hitter, Lance Johnson. Who's hit him for two home runs in one game the last time he faced him in Chicago due to that? And we'll be back with more following this message. I've been in love with Dean Collins ever since I knew what love was. Prince. Forever? Yes. And I used to laugh about how safe I felt dating a detective and all. Somebody help! You're trying to be some kind of hero like your boyfriend. But I never thought my love for a cop might get me killed. You even breathe loud and I'll snap your neck like a twig. You understand me? Savannah. Mondays this fall on WGN. Barney Fife's postcards from Chicago. Dear Thelma Lou, how long have they been playing night games at Wrigley? Showed up this afternoon, but they told me the game started at 7. Instead, I went to the art institution to see all the famous pictures. Tomorrow, I've got tickets to a play. Hope the performance is as good as the time I played Chief Nougatuck in the Mayberry Founders Day pageant. Miss you a lot, Barn. Look for Barney, weeknights at 6 on WGN. Ameritech, your link to better communications, brings you the Cubs' first call to the bullpen, and that first call is Larry Cassian. 1-0, 279 ERA. Cassian on for the 17th time. And he inherits a runner at first base in the person of Ergardo Alfonso. And he's going to face Lance Johnson. Let's pause here for station identification. This is America's number one sports station. WGN-TV, Chicago. Tonight on WGN News, following the ball game, find out what's going on in the house that Michael Jordan built. It involves miles and miles of cable. Plus, the heat and humidity return, but how long will the two stick around? Don't miss Tom Skilling's forecast coming up on the WGN News right after the ball game. And so Cassian, Larry Cassian, will face Lance Johnson, who's 0 for 3. Tonight, 0 for 3 last night. He wore the Cubs out in Chicago, takes the pitch low. Cashin, who wound up being a starter for Iowa and doing very well, back to his relief role with the Chicago Cubs. 
Bouncing ball. Nice play by Sander. Got them at first base. Holy cow, what a beautiful play. Sandberg went to his right, kind of caught it in a kneeling position, and flipped over to first and the inning. No runs, one hit, one left. At the end of eight, Cubs lead three to nothing. Chicago Cubs baseball on WGN is brought to you by Southwest Airlines, celebrating 25 years of low fares, frequent flights, and fun. Flying to Cleveland for business? If these nine reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines nonstop to Cleveland, maybe this will. Fly Southwest Airlines. We'll take an MGM Grand Instant ticket, please. Please. What do you say, sweetheart? Let's play a little blackjack. Oh, Eddie, you're such a shark. Let me play the roulette table. Sure thing, baby. Introducing the MGM Grand Instant game from the Illinois Lottery. 17 different ways to win a grand or a hundred grand, and a bonus chance to win a trip to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Airfare courtesy of America West Airlines. Hey, Louie, another round for me and the Mitches. Got a second? Play this instant. There's a brand new channel on cable TV, and it's called Home and Garden Television. Home and Garden Television? HGTV. You gotta get it. It's packed with great new shows. On everything from building a deck to landscaping your yard, even fixing a lamp. Plus, you get lots of creative decorating ideas. And how-to information straight from the pros. Get inspired. Get motivated. Get ideas. Get HGTV. Call your cable company to ask for HGTV, Home and Garden Television. You gotta have this channel. Wake up with Bill Weir Sports. Always wanted to do this. Bill Weir on WGN Morning News. Good gig, huh? Weekdays from 7 to 9. Harry Carey back at Chase Stadium as we go into the top of the night. Scott Bullets got a bat for Cashin. Bullets hitting 211 for the year. He's 8 out of 43 as a pitch hitter. The Cubs are going to face Derek Wallace, a former Cub draft choice and farmhand. Traded to Kansas City in the Brian McCray trade, then traded on to the Mets. He threw the ball brilliantly at Triple-A Tidewater, and here he is in the major leagues. There's the pitch in their first strike call of Bullet. Three to nothing in favor of the Cubs and Houston. Batting in the ninth, trailing in Montreal. 7 4. There's a strike. Bullet started forward as if to swing and then took the strike call. Wallace had a club record 26 saves and 30 opportunities and a 172 ERA in Triple A. There's a base hit to left field. On a count of 0-2, Bullet lines a single to left. A little cat mouse game of the left fielder Bernard Gilkey. Bullet is on at first base. Cashin credited up for a one-third of an inning. He's had so many of, the, of those all through the year. He comes out, gets. One man out, that's all they ask of them. And here's Mc, McRae. He's walked twice, 0 for 2. High. One ball, no strike. Comes with love a little insurance heading into the bottom of the ninth inning. Although the pitching staff has been brilliant so far, allowing the Mets just one run in now 17 innings. There goes the runner, the pitch here. Throw safe. Stolen base. I tell you, Huntley got the ball away nicely and threw perfectly, but bullet very fast, steals second. 
to be in scoring position. Well, Scott is five for five now, and the Cubs two for two tonight. They've been a very aggressive club when they've had the opportunity. They've tried to hit and run a few times, and the two successful stolen bases. And let's see if Brian either tries to bunt it right at third, or maybe try to pull the ball. I'm looking for the bunt. Derek Wallace in his first inning of relief. Way outside, ball two, two balls, one strike. McCray gave no sign of bunting. Two balls and the strike. Leo Gomez in the on deck circle. He came on defensively, made a sparkling play in the first inning of work defensively, and he'll get a chance to hit. Boy, he really did. The pitch. Line smash. The second baseman drops the ball, but he had held it long enough anyhow. It's a double play. And I don't know about Buddha, but nobody out. The ball was lined right to Alfonso. He caught it. Buddha was on his way to third base. It, while in the process of flipping it to the shortstop, he dropped it. But the umpire called it the ball being held sufficiently long. And so it turned into a double play. Just a real bad base running play by Scott Bullitt. You know that happens so often. Not only on the Cubs, on other clubs also. Instinctively, I think the the urge to run as soon as the ball is hit makes them forget that they ought to let it go through because they probably could score anyway. Well, certainly with, with nobody out or one out, Tony Muser is telling you, make the line drive go through. Derek Wallace. He was hit for a base hit by Bullet. Then the ball was hit like a bullet again by McGray. Only the line into a double play. Montreal has defeated Houston that game of final seven to four. If the Cubs win this one, they're only four games out of first place. And will play the Mets tomorrow before returning home to open a three game series against a team that leads the division right now by half the game. Houston. Oh, and he had a good cut but miss. Three balls, two strikes. Gomez hitting 250. 17 homers. 49 RBI. Pitch is high, ball four. And Gomez is on, and here is Mark Grace. He's one out of four for the night. Looking ahead to the bottom of the ninth, it'll be Espinoza, Gilkey, and Hunley. Boy, let's make some more run. Here's a pitch in there, strike call to Grace. He singled and scored in the fifth. That evens it up, a ball and a strike. White Sox lead the Yankees 6-4. In the seventh, the Red Sox lead Toronto 7 5 in the eighth. Milwaukee over Baltimore 3 1 in the eighth. There's a drive, sharply hit, but it's going to be caught. And Lance Johnson takes care of Grace's hard hit line drive to retire the side with no run, one hit, no errors, one left. We go into the bottom of the ninth. The Cubs leading three to nothing. Rustolian, the ultimate defense against weather. Baby Ruth, who can resist all that rich nougat and caramel? And all those crunchy roasted peanuts. Just what you need to get going. Let it go. Go, go, go! Baby Ruth from Nestle. This baby gets you going. Uh, Tony, 
Mr. Quinn. Tony, is it true? Have you been traded for Sammy Salsa? Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Quinn, what were the stipulations of this trade? I think a few fries were involved. Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? French fries. I've been traded for Sammy Sosa and some fries, okay? Now at Denny's, get a hologram baseball card with 3.5 seconds of actual game footage. Just 49 cents with any entree and a Coca-Cola Classic. Only at Denny's. Don't take it so hard, Tony. I got traded for Wade Boggs and a side of rice pila. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Sir, <coughs> I'm not feeling very well. I'm going home to rest. I should be fine in the morning, though. If you're playing baseball hooky, you need a baseball hooky mobile from your Chrysler and Plymouth dealer, like the award-winning Plymouth Voyager, with room for seven people with Cubs fever for this great price, which will leave you with plenty of hot dog money. Official baseball hooky mobiles only from the stars of Cubbyland, your Chrysler and Plymouth dealer. Set your Dakota rings for action, fun, and the adventures of Captain Zoom in outer space. Thursday night at 7 on WGN. Harry Carey back at Shea Stadium. Cubs baseball is produced and directed by Arnie Harris. Our associate producer, Joe Carneo. And our executive producer is Bill Morrison. Now you see Bill here last night. And here is Alvaro Espinosa. Brent Maine is coming on to pinch Coming hit. on, yeah, I see it. Maine hitting for Espinosa. Fastball in there, a strike call. Kent Bottenfield in the game looking for his second save. 132 ERA, a 2-2 two and two record on for the 26th time. What a job he's done since coming up for the minor league. Kent Bottenfield. One ball, one strike. Patterson and Turk Wendell, Bob Patterson and Turk Wendell getting ready in the bullpen. Maine gets a good cut, fouls it back. You know, Bob Patterson's getting ready to face Todd Hunley if the Mets get anything going, because if you have your choice, you want to turn Hunley around from the right side. Doesn't have quite as much power as he does from the left side. Three to nothing in favor of the Cubs. Houston was beaten at Montreal 7-4. Hot shot. Gonna go for a base hit. Boy, I don't know. Let's see if I hope Grace isn't hurt. Went off his right arm, Harry, and he's feeling the effects of it right now. And that was a one-hop rocket. Red wow. Main hit it right on the button. And Gracie as it takes the high hop and he's still feeling the effects of it, but he appears to be okay. So Bottenfield lose the first man he faces when Maine's.